Okay, here we are back on the Baja doing a little brake inspection and uh, we didn't find anything good in here. We need some uh, brakes. We have uh, no material left on the uh, shoes there. We have a bad wheel cylinder on the driver's side. We have two bent tie rods. I don't know if you can uh, see that one's pretty bent, bowed. It's going to cause an alignment issue. Uh, same with this side. It's also bent, been off-road really hard. You got a bad tie rod uh, right there. There's two bad ones, the inner. Both enters are bad. I would probably replace both tie rods, get them complete. Uh, the steering box has a leak at the seal, and it's also missing the caps. It's also adjusted all the way down as far as it'll go. So the box is at the end of its life. There's not really much we can do with that. Uh, we can replace the rubber piece on it, but we can't get that slop out of there. And uh, this is going to continue to get tighter and tighter. Uh, I would recommend plugging these holes. Uh, if not, sand is going to continue to get in here. Uh, still need the ream for the uh, cane link pens. I'll get those apart, but there's a ream that you have to buy to uh, do this job. I do not have the ream. I can do the king and ling pens. I usually send them out. It's usually $385. You send them out. They send you a set. It's like an exchange deal. But these have been welded on. I don't know if you can see that. They have a gusset on them. And uh, once you do that, you sort of own them. You can't really exchange them. So we probably will have to do this ourselves and uh, get the ream. Uh, the reams available at Doom Buggy Warehouse. They have one there for $150. I think there's a few other companies that will rent you the ream if you'd like to rent it. Uh, I don't do enough of these to buy it and spend the $150 on it. Uh, I don't do a lot of King Pen cars. And uh, normally people will exchange these and send them out to you know guys that sell them on the web already done. Uh, there's a couple companies that do that exchange deal. Also, we have a uh, bad bushing or bearing up here on this control arm. This control arm's moving in the beam. Uh, there's no grease fittings in the beam at all. So I don't know. They have a uh, rubber sleeve in here instead of the bushing at the end. There's usually a roller bearing at the end of the beam that the arms ride in. But sometimes on an aftermarket beam. This one's uh, been cut and turned. I don't know if it's an aftermarket beam or if somebody's done all this work to it. But there's usually a roller bearing here, and sometimes they put a rubber sleeve in to replace that. So we might have to replace those sleeves or the bearing, whatever is in here, because we have way too much play in this arm. It's just moving everywhere. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty much a complete front end rebuild. Uh, it's a complete brake job. The drums aren't really great. Uh, they've been turned quite a bit. Uh, don't think you can turn those again. They're awful rusty. We can scuff them up, put shoes on there, and hope for the best. The other option is a disc brake kit. Uh, a lot of people go that way uh, at this point. You know, wheel cylinders, uh, even though you go buy them at the store, there's no uh, guarantee that they're brand new off the shelf. You know, they could have been sitting on the shelf for quite some time. The disc brake kits are sort of new, so uh, that's pretty much the way people are going, is the disc brake quit kits when they have to do all this work. You need both uh, brake hoses on both sides. Uh, the driver's side's cracked, and this one's also cracking. Uh, this will affect your brake pedal and uh, make the car pull if one hose is restricted and the other one isn't. So I like to replace those in a pair if we're gonna go that route. Uh, so that's where we're at. We have the king and ling pens. We need to get a ream. Uh, you could use the steering box there. Definitely need tie rod ends and tie rods. And uh, we need brakes. So we can either redo these drum brakes or we can go with the disc brake setup. Whatever you prefer. So that's where we're at at this point. I'll go ahead and get it jacked up in the back here and pull the back tire off. And we'll inspect the rear brakes and see where we're at there. As far as uh, what's going on, it looks like it's got a fairly fresh split pin in there. So hopefully uh, the back's in a little better shape than the front was. But, so that's where we're at right now. And uh, I'll get that pulled apart in the back. And then uh, 
we'll make a little video back there if we see something if we don't see anything we'll just put it all back together and uh inspect it but as far as the front i think that's the rundown up there uh, we pretty much need everything in the front end and uh, I tried tightening the kingpins up and that didn't work. They, they have a lot of movement. I mean, you can grab it with your hand and move it. So it's uh, definitely shot, definitely time, and uh, definitely something that has to be done. So, All right, that's a little video for today. That's where we're at. That's what we're doing. And uh, right on.